What's going on guys? Arms Form coming guys today with another video and we got some big news going on in Detroit. Lions land. Uh, we are 24 hours away from the NFL draft. The Detroit Lions decided to extend Amon Ra St. Brown, wide receiver, Detroit Lions, to a massive four-year deal, making it a five-year deal in total at $30 million per year, $102 million at four years, the extension. So it's five years because he's still playing on his rookie deal, one year left. So it's a five-year deal, which makes it a five-year deal, and it's a $24.67 million because he's owed like $3, three million plus dollars. So it's really a $24.67 million, $24.67 million deal, roughly around there. Wow. So um, it's a really great deal for the Detroit Lions. We were waiting for something like this. I had a feeling that they were going to do something like this before the draft. You know, now they're take, now it's like it drafts in Detroit. Why not lock up some of your core guys? And we're talking about the other guy that got signed too, but I'm not going to talk about this as well too. Everyone knows that Pene Sewell got extended as well. But we're going to talk about Amon Ross St. Brown, okay? 24 years old, going to be 25 in October. Been in the NFL with the Detroit Lions for three years. Fourth round pick out of USC a few years back. 315 catches, 3,588 yards, 11.4 yards per catch, 21 touchdowns, even has rushed for 180 yards and a touchdown at 9 yards per carry, uh, with a catch rate of an, an immaculate 73.4%. Um, he does have a few drops in the NFL. I think he dropped, it said he had like 8 drops last year. I don't know if that was a typo, but... At eight last year, four the year before, maybe one or two the year before that. So he's had a quite a bit of drops last year in 2023, but he's clutch. He's clutch. He's always been clutch since he's been here. Leader, grit, let, leads by example, work ethic th through the roof, um, trains hard, does everything you want. You know, he has a chip on his shoulder. Uh, he can name every wide receiver that has been taken before him in that 2000, I believe, 2021 draft. Um, I like, want to say that it is. I think there's, I believe there was 14 to 18. I, I forget how many wide receivers were taken, but he constantly looks at that list before every practice, before every game, just to get his juices going and just, just for that chip on his shoulder that you love. Catches 200 plus balls on a jugs machine. I believe it's 202. I could be wrong there, but he catches a, that many jugs machine after every single practice catching balls on the jugs. And then um, he is a top. He's a top six to ten wide receiver in the NFL for fun. Um, you know, I'm not going to say he's better than Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, not better than Tyreek Hill, not better than Jamar Chase, but you can put him in the same category as guys like Devontae Adams, in my opinion. Stephon Diggs, Diggs might be a little bit more um, talented. A.J. Brown, Cooper Cup, you know, Debo Samuel, Mike Evans, D.K. Metcalf. There's a, there's a lot of good wide receivers, but he is in that he is in that talk. Okay? He's not an elite. He's not an elite guy or anything like that, like the Jeffersons and the Tyreeks and, 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 and the guys like Jamar Chase and CeeDee Lamb. I'm not going to put him in that category. But he is right there. He's right there. He's at second tier. He is the man. And, uh, you know, six foot, 202 pounds. He's not a big guy. He's a slot. You know, people like to call him Slant Boy. You know, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't have a very extent, extensive route tree. I don't care. He is wide receiver one. On many, many teams, and all they care about is one team, and he catches um, tons of balls a game. I think he's he averages like 100-plus catches a game, I mean a year, and uh, with 1,100-plus yards. He had 1,500 yards last year with seven, eight touchdowns to his name, averaging that for the last three years. He's done nothing but produce since he's been in the NFL. Took him a little bit, 2021, as a rookie, but... He still caught like nine, 90 balls, 800, 800, 900 yards, and a handful of touchdowns. And uh, he had a, an absolute coming out party in 2023. And he got extended. Now, we could talk about the extension. We could talk about the money. We could talk about everything. But he just, he is the guy that was never going to leave this organization, ever. He was never going to get traded. Um, there was no talks about him possibly getting traded. I know there's people out there that are like, this is too much money. Because he is the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL right now. It's going to change within minutes. It's going to change because Justin Jefferson, guys like C.D. Lamb, they are due for massive contracts from the Vikings and from the Cowboys. 
And then you're going to hear guys like possibly Tyreek Hill, maybe Jamar Chase going, what the hell is going on? I think Jamar is up, up for a deal too, or, or he got paid, I forget. But those guys are going to be looking going, whoa, <laughs> whoa, Alan Ra got paid, got paid a little more than me? You know, but what the hell is going on there? But it doesn't really matter what those what, what's going on over there. We got a guy locked up for the next five years at 24 and change. That's it's just that's Brad Holmes doing work. I think it was 77 million guaranteed, which is even better. Like if Amon Ra goes down, you know the the deal looks terrible, and you know you got to give him 77 million. Um, that's only if his career is done. But um, 77 million dollars off a 120 million dollar deal is excellent. Is excellent. So who knows what happens in two, three, four years? You know, the guys fall off quick. Now Amon Ra doesn't seem like a guy that's going to. Um, He's the hardest working man in the building, hardest working man that's that's on this team, and everybody knows it. And you got a guy that produces who's a wide receiver one. You know, there's a lot of fans out there that just don't, not that they don't like him, they just think that he's not a true wide receiver one because he plays in the slot. I don't care where he plays. He produces like the big boys do. That's why he got the bag. And that's it. That, that That's all we're going to talk about. This is a quick video. Amon Ra St. Brown locked up. Um, I will be doing a podcast. Got moved to 9 o'clock for personal reasons. I had to get it to 9. I'll be talking about Sewell Dex too. But Amon Ra St. Brown, the sun god. Going nowhere, people. Nowhere. He's sticking around. He's sticking around. He's not going nowhere. We love him in Detroit. It's big time news for the Lions. Day before the draft. I love it. Take that shine away from Caleb Williams. I'm all for it. But hey, man, good job, Brad Holmes. Good job with the cap. We'll know the full details of the contract maybe a little bit later on. But like the per year average, it's $30 million. It's not going to be $30 million off the dead cap or the cap hit. The details will come out soon enough. But great job, Detroit Lions. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming on here man, watching the vid. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right. Don't forget the notification bell up top. Don't forget to like, comment, share out this video. Sun God in the building. He ain't going nowhere for at least four or five years. Boom. Good job, guys. Detroit Lions, Detroit versus everybody. Let's go, baby. Bang.